Hello everyone, and thank you so much for checking out this video. Now, before the comments of, oh, I'm such an idiot, and oh, you missed out this person, and everything like that, this was just one of the three compilations that I've done so far on my channel, and they're basically just five videos, two people each video. I combined them into one long video and then throw them on the channel as a long, long form content video for you guys. So then you don't have to go through my shorts, scroll through and then continue like that. Cause I know that got, that gets annoying. But with that being said, if you guys do like this video, make sure you guys check out the other compilations that I have my, on my channel. They're all pretty short. They're all around five minutes again, cause they're just compilation of shorts. And again, if you guys do like videos like this, make sure you guys check out the other compilations that are on my channel. Um, if you guys think that I miss someone or someone doesn't deserve to be on this list or you think someone else deserves to be on this list just let me know in the comments I would love to research anyone that you guys would find interesting and throw them on the list as well uh, but thank you guys for watching I very much appreciate it have a great day and enjoy the video hello everyone and welcome back to another top 10 most infamous gangsters of all time starting off this list with number 10 we have gentleman jack aka jack legs diamond good old jack had his operation out of philly but he was also seen in chicago and new york he made his bones from bootlegging and he was close friends and security to arnold rothstein on top of all that for some odd reason the man also liked to kidnap people famously he kidnapped james duncan Coming in at number 9, we have Big Motherfucking Meech. Big Meech was the head of the Black Mafia family, or BMF, which was a 110% legit record label and definitely not a front for drug dealing. Okay, obviously that was a lie, it was a front for drug dealing. At the height of his empire's power, he was bringing in $100 million a year. Hello everyone, and welcome back to part 2 of another top 10. 10 most infamous gangsters of all time. Starting off the list, we have one of the most famous gangsters ever, James Burke, portrayed by Robert De Niro in Goodfellas. Burke was the mastermind behind the Lufthansa heist, and he was also Renaissance man of the mafia. He was involved in drug dealing, prostitution, gambling, and murders. Coming in at number seven, going back a little bit in time, we have Vito Genovese. The man reached his peak in the 1930s when he was the head of the Genovese crime family. Famously, in 1931, him and associate Lucky Luciano plotted to kill Salvatore Marizano. They did this, and Vito ascended to the throne of boss of the family. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to part three of another top ten most infamous gangsters of all time. Starting off this list with number six, we have Arnold Rothstein, the brain. He was called that because the man was a genius and he had a knack for gambling, not off of luck, but based off of strategy. But don't get it fooled, the man was an absolute gangster and was known to get his hands dirty. Most famously, though, in 1919, he fixed the World Series. He is probably, without a doubt, the most famous Jewish mobster ever. Coming up at number five, from around the same time, we have Dean O'Banion. The Irish-American mobster was a main rival of Johnny Torrio and Al Capone during the 1920s. He, of course, made his fortune with him bootlegging and drug dealing and was the leader of the Northside Gang until 1924 when he was assassinated. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to part four of another top 10 most infamous gangsters of all time. To start this list off at number four, we have John Dillinger. I know that name definitely rings a few bells for a couple of people out there. John was the leader of the Dillinger Gang, or the Terror Gang, and those men robbed a impressive 24 banks. But even more impressively, they somehow managed to fucking rob four police stations. And on top of that, John escaped from prison twice. Coming up at number three, we have Angel Felix Gallardo. Sorry, I definitely fucked up that name. I've been trying, though. That took, like, 50 attempts, and that was probably the best one. But known as the Bosses of Bosses, or the Godfather, the man definitely commanded respect. He was co-founder of the Guadalajara Cartel, and famously controlled a large portion of the Mexican drug trade. His downfall came at the killing of a DEA agent. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to... 
part five, the final part of another top 10 most infamous gangsters of all time. Starting off the list at number two, we have the Enigma Nicky Barnes, one of the main successors of Frank Lucas. Nicky controlled a decent percentage of the 1970s New York City drug trade. And the man also formed the council, which was a group of African Americans that worked very closely with a group of Italian American mobsters to traffic heroin and move heroin through New York City, making everyone extremely rich. And coming up at number one, we have the golden dragon, Kun Sa. Kun Sa was the king of the golden triangle. This man sold more dope than any other narco in the world. I could promise you that he controlled the golden triangle for the longest amount of time out of any other drug kingpin. He was also the single contributor to Frank Lucas,